Hi everyone, it's B here at Little Miss B Crafts. I hope you're all well. Um, I've come on today to show you the reading journal that I mentioned um, yesterday uh, when I did the cafe latte journal that I said I was going to do a reading journal and I've just made a very simple um, signature journal, that's all. Um, so I wanted to come on and show you what I've made. Um, these papers are from Antique Papery again and these this is the Lazy Sunday kit um, and it had lots of books on it um, again it's a vintage vibe um, beautiful beautiful images again um, so yes yeah, so I just thought I'd come on show you what I've done already um, and maybe do um, set up another page so um, all I've done is I've just I've tied a ribbon round to make it look kind of pretty and I've put I found a little bee charm in my stash I don't know if you can see that there it's a little bee and it's on one of those bull pins so there you go so I've put that on as um because of bee <laughs> um so yeah so this is what's hold just tied that round to make it look pretty keep it together a little bit more okay so um like I say it's just um a one signature kind of um very simple booklet used making um five of the papers these six papers come in this again um, and i've just used five of these papers i've also used um some craft card for the cover and i've used some uh, tea dyed paper for the backs but you'll see that when i open it so this is the front so as you can see it's beautiful um there's the books at the back um, so like I say, this theme of this these papers is um, kind of books and antiques and I just love it, I thought it was beautiful, so that's why I chose it to, to do my reading journal. And why I've done a reading journal is I want to try and do a bit more reading this year. Um, I haven't really read a book for a while, um, which is a bit of a travesty really, even in lockdown I've not really um, read a lot of books and I want to get back into reading some good books uh, and make and reading different books, you know, some fiction books, some non-fiction, uh, some biographies, some classics. Um, yeah, so I've already got a few books lined up that I want to try and read in the next few months. Um, nothing, you know, I'm going to try and read through at least three a month, which isn't too much, is it? But it's halfway through January, not even done one yet. But there you go. So this is why I've done a reading journal. So on the first page, I don't know if you can see that I've done a little book um, case. Just just roughly drew it out. Um, I might colour that in. I might leave it. I'm not sure. Um, and I've just put books to read 2021. And what my plan to do is is once I have read a book I might write the um, the name of that book in the spine and, and then colour them in as I've read them okay so I've just put some I think you can see that so I've just done a bookcase okay and then I've just put reading journal over here 2021 this is another of those beautiful papers um, all I've done is I've just stitched the papers together on my sewing machine I find that really I just think it gives it a nice touch and um, and it's better than glue sometimes they do hold them together even though I did spray with kind of a, um, a spray glue to start before I actually started to sew them um, yeah so again this is beautiful papers the same colours again and then this was my first this has been my first kind of um, two pages for January and February so these are the books that I'm hoping to read in January and February um, this one I've got downstairs already I haven't got this one and I've got this one on my, on my Kindle app so I'm kind of there and they're re ready to go to read so I'm hoping I will get them so I've just printed out I just got the book covers on off um, you know off Google images and then just downloaded them and just printed them out and I think so it's visual and then once I've read them I can then tick them off or you know maybe colour them in or whatever put a little dot on them um, I've just um, put January and February and all I've done is just put a few embellishments on the page just to make it look a little bit prettier and um, made these to look like the books just shaded around them and just put this on the bottom so I can maybe write a few things on there over here I've got an envelope um, these came, the envelope didn't, This the envelope is my own, 
all I've done is just stick it on with some washi tape uh, this image here it's like the bigger images but they're smaller and this is in the add-ons which is also um, you can purchase which I did so you can get smaller ones as well um, I've just added this is my own key this is my own kind of dough that I've just kind of put in half and then inside again I've got one of the little um, images that I can then write on about the books if I want to write about something in the books these this is a bookmark again that you get from the add-ons and I can write some more information on there and um, I could even write some information on here if I wanted to but this is another beautiful image from the papers again the tea stained papers I've also put a tab on the side here that says January February um, I was going to just put January on one on one day on one page and then I thought well if I do try and do two on one page then I'll this this will last me for the through the whole of the year um, and like I say I can add more papers into there I can add more you know more reviews or whatever I want to put in um, again lovely papers you can see how beautiful they are they've got the books again here Sherry who who does the um, the graphics on the antique paper honestly they're just beautiful and again these were 91 pence um, again I've stitched the papers this is a quill and a, a, an ink pot um, I've just put this is uh, with the add-ons as well this little um, envelope so it's like an, a coin envelope and obviously it's flat and you just cut it out and make it up but um, I've just put it on that bit because then that's where I've tied I've sewn the signature I did three I don't know if you can see I just put some cotton and did the three um, and sewed them that way and then I've put that over there so that you can't see the cotton and it's this beautiful image again so again cafe cafes and legumes obviously I mean I might even on these two pages in the middle I might even do the reviews for each month or something like that I've not quite decided yet um, another beautiful image um, it's got a you know um, again very vintage looking um, you've got the books um, you've got some book titles there and um, this is a, part, a perfumery but it says Rob Roy which I know is a book um, so yeah so I just love the imagery it's beautiful uh, this says loved and you've got a little um, envelope there Madame, Madame Bolivé I think that's a, um, maybe a play on words of Madame Bouvery um, so yeah and then you've got this beautiful image again and then again I can put some I might put an envelope on there with reviews of a bigger envelope I shall see I'm not quite not quite um, certain yet so what I thought I'd do is I thought I would do the next spread because I have got the the uh, book pages and just show you maybe my thought processes and how I'm going to decorate these two sets here I think I've only got enough books for the March but we can you know it's just a little, a little um, run through of what um, you know what I wanted to uh, to maybe do so yeah um, so again you get these um, these are the bookmarks and things that you get um, so again they're very much like the images that are in the you know that's what we've just seen on the back so yeah so you can make those into bookmarks and I thought I'd use them for my um, for putting my reviews on or something like that so I'm going to do this one now so these is this is going to be March um, I've not quite got all my April books yet I don't think um, I don't think there's any more in, in that box there. I don't think no there isn't so so anyway so um, what I did what I want to do is put some kind of um, some kind of images on the background as you can see let me just show you on this other one I actually um, 
probably won't be able to see very well but I did actually um, stamp this Fleur de Lis image here if you can see that let me just see if I can get <laughs> so that was the image that I stamped and I think this is a Lisa Horton um, made for creative expressions it's an older stamp that I've had for a while so that was what and I just kind of did that all over the background just to give it a little bit of interest okay and what I'm going to do for this one now is I'm going to make a little booklet so all I've done is cut out just cut out some um, just some you know pieces of paper to make a little booklet and I'm going to put one of the covers on the front of there okay so this is for my next one the next page here so that could go that can go there again okay and then I can write in that little book then as well it might go there actually let me see I think I'll put it there okay and then obviously these are going to go over here so I'm going to stamp first of all and I'm going to use let me see so this is the stamp set um, so I might just put some some of these stamps and some of the butterflies and just do um, you know, just do an assortment of things I shall get my stamping block and I'm using I'm just using a vintage photo distress oxide um, for the actual stamping so I'm just going to stamp all over with this postage this is I think this is the reason why I got this stamp set actually is because of the the postage stamp um, so just it just gives the images the background a little bit of you know image in fact just here there and everywhere nothing doesn't even matter if it I think that's the beauty of something like this is doing you know like I said you don't have to be precise um, you don't have it doesn't have to be neat like you're doing a card it doesn't have to be neat and because we're going to put things on top of it anyway it's just for a background kind of uh, image so, just a few butterflies just on the even over the, the postage stamps you know it's, it doesn't really you know, coming off the page Like I say, going to, I'm going to stick things on top of these anyway, so, you know. On there. Maybe. One in the middle there. One there. Okay, so again, nothing very random, nothing kind of, just having a bit of a, you know, this is what I was saying last night about, when I did the other one um, yesterday, uh, you know, getting back into crafting. If if you're kind of feeling like you don't know what you want to do, um, sometimes something like this, just doing this, is like enough. You know, it, it's um, just doing something that you enjoy. Um, I know sometimes I'm you know, just making envelopes or just making something that. Um, you know you just want to do basically um, it just takes you out of you know everyday life sometimes so that you kind of just you know I have got two Billy Connolly books in there you didn't see I've got Billy Connolly on the other side and um, it's got some some books out and I love Billy Connolly so I thought I'd try and you know read some of his books um, so this little book here so, so I hope you're all well um, I hope you're all you know surviving this especially if you're in the UK surviving this current lockdown that we're in again that we find ourselves in again you know it's not um <laughs> It's not, uh, you know, some people find it really, really difficult for their mental health and everything like that. Um, 
but we'll get through it hopefully with things like this so yeah so all I'm going to do now is I can't really I'm going to put March over here because you won't be able to see it there so I'm just writing March nothing you know nothing too spectacular just March okay um, and then I'll just show you that needs to go back over there this is in this tin here I sorted through this tin at the beginning of the first lockdown um, and I had some um, books from the works here in England and they were kind of decoupage books with lots of die cuts and things in them so all I did was I took them out I actually took them out one day while I wanted to get things sorted so I've got a whole load and these images go really well I think with these papers um, you know you've got all these kind of old-fashioned images and um, you know floral tickets like this so you know I've just been sorting through and thinking oh that'll go that'll go really nicely with that um, and so I'm going to put this on first and see where I want that to go. I'm just going to edge around the edges to make it look a bit more antique with, with my, um, just with my, uh, just so the paper's not as white as it should be really. Uh, so yeah, just making it a bit more sparse looking, you know, uh, you know, a little bit more aged is the word I'm looking for. That's all you need to do. I mean, you can do, you know, like I said, I did tea, I did age them, um, I tea dyed those those ones. But sometimes, if you've just got some, you know, uh, brown inks, just going over them, just you know, around the edges and things like that, will make them look a bit more aged. Again, <laughs> I'm not being precise. I'm just. Uh, I hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just playing <laughs> basically and uh, just having a bit of me time, a bit of fun and you know just and then for this one what I might do is so again I'm not being precious about anything I'm just you know I mean that just looks but then I could always just I might just stick something on top of that and you know just this is just for me you know it, it this is my my personal journal so nobody else will really be seeing it and um, just on the back now just go around those edges it looks sometimes when it's vintage it looks better doesn't it so there we go so that's that okay so that looks a bit more vintage looking let me just get some twine oh. what I want to do is just put some twine around the middle of this so to hold it together Again, nothing special, just, you know, don't tight too tight because obviously it's, um, and that will hold that together, it makes it look a bit more vintage and rustic, just pull that through, there, just cut those off. that round a bit more because just to pull it up a bit more there we go okay and then that can go on there and what I'm going to do is I think I'll probably again just stick that with some of this uh, this washi tape that's got that so 
sorry it went out <laughs> so I've just put that up there that's gone on there what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take that off um because I want it to be go down a little bit more than it was so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick That needs to go on that front bit there rather on, than on the back. Um, so it needs to go underneath that bit there. So I think that's. There we go. Hopefully that will go on a little bit better than it was. It was stuck up a little bit too much, wasn't it? There we go, that's better. So you've got that little, little bookmark there. Um, not really. I'm not really keen on that one. Um, that one's quite nice. Got there. The blue's not. That blue doesn't really. Isn't really. I'm not really feeling that blue on there little ticket yeah that little ticket's quite nice yep let's put that ticket there I might write write April um I have got one book for April where did I put my book my book for April I'm sorry if you can hear an alarm <laughs> going off the Hobbit. No it's not, no it's, I want to get through, I want to try and get through as much Harry Potter books as I can. Um, I did read the first one when many 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 years ago um, so some of my challenge for this year is to try and get as many Harry Potter books read as I can. Um, I do remember the first one being quite easy to read um, but I do think as they've got progressively, you know, down the line, I do think they're a little bit more, maybe, uh, harder. A little bit darker, shall I say. I think they went, the film definitely did, didn't they? So, yeah, so this is my, my little journal. I hope I've not rambled on too much. <laughs> and I hope that, you know, it, it's kind of given you a little bit of a, you know, a, an insight into and some inspiration just to get you get whatever you need out and just have a play you know, with stamps that you've not used or whatever and you know, things that you may have in your stash that you've not used but and please have a look again at this antique papery um, line I will leave the link again below because um, it is, it's beautiful um, I will be definitely buying some more of these um, there's a lovely lemon, Sicilian lemon uh, range that's come out, some uh, digital papers um, and I've not really used, I have used digital papers in the past, um, this this kind you know from Etsy and things, I have done a few journals but um, I, think, um, I think maybe it's the way forward this year rather than buying big paper pads that I might not use and I've just got there it's always handier isn't it to just have them and then you can just print them off as much as you want and then you're not left with a whole load of papers and a stash that you're not going to use or whatever so and I do love papers I do love beautiful papers I really do um but yeah so I'm rambling again so yes I hope you've enjoyed just that little bit of a um a little bit of a journal um, book journal and I hope that you it's inspired you maybe for you to have a go at, at making a small journal or of some kind like I say the journal itself did not take me long to make um, I printed the papers off cut them out to the size that I wanted sewed two pieces together so this was card for um, 
the front and covers and the back covers and then these were just sewn together with tea paper and a digital paper um, and that was it it really was and now the fun part is decorating all these beautiful pages and getting a nice journal and actually reading books as well this is my main <laughs> that's the main thing I want to do is read some good books write about them and then at the end of the year I will have a beautiful journal that I can look back on and think oh yeah really I forgot about that book it was really good and and I think especially in these times as well with the pandemic and the lockdown and I think journaling is really really important and I think we should um, you know maybe do a little bit more um, I'm just looking I've not put my March and April tab so that's what I'm going to do on there if I can find them <laughs> they are in here somewhere some tabs yep there's one so will that go yep that goes so I'm just folding them over these are what um some of these are just what I've had in my stash and what I've cut out um either from a die or from just the Cricut machine um so yeah so um I think I did these on my Cricut and just made it up <laughs> just put a shape in and then joined them together <clears throat> put that on there and I think this makes it even look just want to see where that one's at so that I can then put a little bit further down so it's not so much on that thing there we go, there we go. so yep yeah, so that will be a bit cockeyed hopefully I can peel it off I think it is re repositionable tape. I'm not sure. Just trying. I think I might have got away with it. <laughs> so, just trying to uh, make it so that it's not as. That'll do. <laughs> that's a bit better, that's a bit straighter. So yes, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this today, um, just a, a little short video just to show you what I've made. I hope it inspires you to go and just do something, be creative, just do, you know, just do a little bit of stamping, maybe get some die cuts out, make something, make a little booklet. It doesn't have to be for reading, it can be for anything, just to write your thoughts down. But thank you for watching today again. Um, if you... Um, could subscribe if you haven't already and you've enjoyed this then please do um, I do appreciate everybody who comes and watches my videos um, um, I hope you've really enjoyed it um, and I shall see you soon thank you bye